Hi, I'm John from OWC. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about something that many people might not be familiar with. I wanna share some valuable information about shared storage. So before we get into the why of shared storage, let's talk a little bit about what it is. Simply put, shared storage is a network attached storage system used by multiple users or workstations. A shared storage system stores all your media files in a centralized pool of storage and allows multiple users to access them at once. Thinking in terms of a post-production team working on a project together, shared storage would allow media to pass fluidly from someone who performs the initial assembly to the final assembly, to color, to audio, without a single drive being passed back and forth. If you've already been looking into shared storage solutions for your team, you might have run into the word NAS, or Network Attached Storage. In the simplest explanation, a NAS is a server with storage built into it. What this means is that you can have terabytes upon terabytes of storage with multiple workstations connected at the same time. That said, all NAS solutions were not created equal, and some can be quite complicated to set up. Shared storage systems like the Jellyfish by OWC have easy-to-use connection applications and admin tools that allow you to manage users, data, and integrations without a dedicated IT resource. In the case of the Jellyfish, you likely won't even need a dedicated switch to get connected. Simply grab a CAT 6A or 7 Ethernet cable, a workstation with a 10 gig connection, or an adapter if your computer doesn't have one, plug it in and you're pretty much ready to go. So now that we've answered the question, what is shared storage, we can take a look at the why. While there are a few subjective reasons why I think shared storage is a huge benefit to any video team with two or more editors, here are six immediate benefits you're gonna see moving from external hard drives to centralized collaborative solution like the Jellyfish. Searching for physical media. How many times have you sat at your desk excited to work on a project and you get inspired to pull some B-roll or maybe a great clip from a previous video only to realize that you can't find the footage anywhere? Is it on that drive or this drive? And how do I even know once I find the drive, do I have to plug each one in and figure out what folder I put it in? With shared storage, you search the folder structure on the server and it'll always be in the same place or worse comes to worse, it's on something like an archived rate. Passing projects and copying media. Let's say I wanted to start an edit with another editor, editor B. Let's call this person Tyler. Tyler's gonna have to sit and wait for me to ingest media, compile my initial edit, then copy all that media over to another drive so that he can work on his edit. Then, once Tyler's finished, he'll have to copy the media back onto my drive, and so on and so forth. With shared storage, you just ingest the media and you're done. There's no need to copy media from one drive to another. Tyler could just access the media and project without having to even ask or come over to my desk to grab any media. Every time an editor works on a project that had its media on a different storage location, the editing software needs to find that media on the new location and relink it to the project. This whole process is simply eliminated with shared storage. Any editor can open any project without having to relink since the media is coming from the same location. Cabling drives. This one's pretty obvious, but without the need for passing drives or searching for physical media, you can go ahead and clean out your cable closet. Keep what you need, maybe donate all those extra cables. Cataloging media. Every time new media is acquired on a hard drive, editors need to make a note of that somewhere to be able to find which project is located on which hard drive. Some teams use spreadsheets, others use sticky notes and spreadsheets and email trails and text messages. It's all kind of a mess, honestly. Now, while something like a media asset manager can really help with this issue, a great place to start is having all your media in one central location. This will help with consolidating your projects too. Speaking of consolidating projects, when editors work locally from a hard drive and need to turn the project over to a coworker, they need to make sure that all media that is related to this project is copied to that storage location. When working off something like a jellyfish, this whole issue is pretty much out of sight, out of mind. Tyler can easily just choose the project that I was working on and get started immediately. In fact, the Jellyfish specifically has a project cache pre-configured, so the system works even more efficiently when your team adapts to a shared project workflow. It's almost like this system was built for collaboration in mind. Simultaneous project collaboration. In fact, having your media on shared storage can optimize features that are built right into your favorite pieces of editing software. Tools like Adobe Productions and DaVinci Resolve are using shared storage solutions to power their internal collaborative and communication features to speed up next generation workflows. Remote workflows. One last thought, most NAS systems these days can be put on a network. I mean, after all, it is in the name. 
This could allow for other team members to access the system remotely so that you don't have to ship drives back and forth from an editor who might live an hour away. So who needs shared storage? Really, any video team with two people or more can benefit from shared storage. If even one of the points from before seems like something you deal with constantly, you're probably a candidate for shared storage. To be more specific, we've heard from all types of video teams from all over the world about the positive ways shared storage has helped enable a more collaborative environment for their teams. From growing in-house video teams, creating branded content, post houses, agencies, houses of worships, broadcast teams, universities, and even high school classrooms. We've learned that shared storage is the best way to solve all the issues that come with decentralized media and runaway hard drives. These teams have a ton of video content that they produce consistently. And the creative process relies on multiple editors being able to access similar media at the same time. Shared storage is especially helpful for teams that might have to meet tight deadlines. It gives them the power to create video assets using a parallel post-production workflow, thereby saving them time and money. If you have team members editing similar media at the same time, this kind of solution is an absolute necessity. Moving your production team to a shared storage system can and will improve productivity and collaboration, allowing your team to work faster together. Sharing is caring. Caring about saving time and letting your team get back to what they love doing the most, telling stories through video. So from everyone here at OWC, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and click subscribe. We'll see you next time.